I'm Stephen Thompson. I'm with the Crop Production Systems Research Unit with the USDA ARS. This research involves measurement of temperatures and wind to determine the likelihood of temperature inversions. Okay, there are critical periods in the morning and late evening where you don't want to spray for a mag aircraft. So our experiments are designed to measure the temperature and wind speed data necessary to determine when those periods occur. So temperature inversion is a situation where you have uh, warm air above cool air, basically, and it forms a layer with which you don't want to spray into this layer. Okay. If a pilot sprays into this layer, what happens is the spray is entrained in this layer, and then when the wind picks up, it can blow it downwind and possibly damage crops several miles downwind. So the data we are taking is designed to determine when those periods are when the pilot should not be in the air. We have precision thermistors uh, which measure temperature at, at 8 and 30 feet and then we measure wind speed at 15 feet. I have a ground system here also that's a little more practical to use that we, we can use to supplement the data we get from these uh, tall towers. We take this data and through basic engineering equations we figure out whether atmospheric conditions are suitable for uh, the pilot to spray. On a hot sunny day in the middle of the summer, usually after 7 a.m. you're okay to spray. You want to stop spraying before 7 p.m. Of course, weather conditions are going to change that. If you have a high wind, you're in better shape. Slightly high wind, I should say. We have determined that, based on our data, any uh, wind speeds above 4 miles an hour are going to be suitable for spraying because it mixes up this layer and when you have mixing you're not going to have that air entrained. This experiment will benefit the farmer by giving the aerial applicator data that he needs to know when to get up in the air and he can also tell the farmer hey I can't get out this this time but I can at this time. And the farm manager can, can use this data just uh, as well as the aerial applicator can.